an answer on clothing a social history explain the reason for the changes in clothing patterns and materials in the 18th century so changes in clothing pattern and materials that is the style and the content in the 18th century it took place due to events like first is french revolution this french revolution ended the restriction imposed on the dress code that is it ended the sumptuary law and because of the colonialism that is different culture that is western culture and the culture of that colony came into contact with each other and were in turn influenced by each other cultures dress style that is how the changes took place in the clothing patterns and also the trade with india brought the beautiful and easy to maintain indian shins within the reach of europeans and then came the artificial fibers they were easy to maintain and easy to clean what were the sumptuary laws in france in the medieval europe dress codes were sometimes imposed upon members of different layers of society that is they were hierarchy so there were rules on these uh, you can say uh, people who are in lower hierarchy through actual laws which were spell out in some detail quite detail it was from 1294 to the time of french revolution in 1789 the people of france were strictly expected to follow the laws that is the dress code known as sumptuary laws the sumptuary laws it was a measure to control the behavior of those considered social inferior just trying to prevent them for from wearing certain clothes consuming certain food and beverages and hunting game in certain areas so this all include clothes food and hunting these all include uh, sumptuary laws so in france the items of clothing a person could purchase per year this was also regulated not only by income but also by social rank and the material of the clothes is also legally or rule wise defined or prescribed only the big class ruling class or the royalty could wear expensive materials like ermine and fur or silk or brocade but the lower classes could not do this they cannot use this these materials which were only associated with the royalty or the aristocracy given it to examples of the way in which or ways in which european dress codes were different from indian dress codes so first is european used to wear hats and which were supposed to be removed before social superiors as a sign of respect but indians they wear turbans why because they wanted to protect them from the scorching heat it was a symbol of respect and this cannot be removed uh, all the times the dress code in europe was influenced by uh, economic and social status but here in india the dress code was influenced by the caste and creed system in 1805 a british official benjamin hain he listed he listed the manufactures of bangalore which included the following that is women cloth of different masters and names coarse shins muslins uh, silk cloths so out of this list which kind of clothes would have definitely fallen out of use in the early 1800s and why in the early 1800s the east indian company was exporting a large quantity of silk clothes and coarse shins and muslin to england because they were not available in england and even in europe because of this these cloth material became expensive in india so they fell out of use western clothes were influencing to to indian men and society also and society tried to adopt to the mill made clothes quickly so this further led to reduction of use of silk cushions and muslin suggest reason why women in 19th century in india were obliged to continue wearing traditional indian dress even when the men switched over to more convenient western clothing what does this show about the position of women in society 
in the 19th century indian men actually switched over to more convenient western clothing and the women this they, they continued to wear the traditional dresses this is why because the indian women were bound by the tradition customs and social values of india and indian society and people and indian society was kind of patriarch uh, patriarchal society or a male dominated society and women were supposed to uphold the family honor and wear traditional clothes only so this implies that the women were inferior or considered inferior to men in indian society Winston Churchill described Mahatma Gandhi as seditious middle temple lawyer now posing as a half naked fakir what provoked such a comment from churchill and what does it tell you about the symbolic strength of mahatma gandhi's dress winston churchill he described mahatma gandhi as you see here seditious middle temple lawyer now posing as a half naked fakir why because mahatma gandhi adopted the dress of the poorest indian he started wearing a short dhoti without a shirt when he went to england for the round table conference he wore this only so he wanted to identify himself with a with common man poor common man of india to support swadeshi movement and encourage the boycott of british goods to show resistance to the british rule and discarding of west clothes western clothing and adoption of very simple uh, local or you can say simple dhoti sometimes a chadar also or chadar or you can say a cloth on the top served as a symbolic weapon against the british rule why did mahatma gandhi's dream of clothing the nation in khadi appeal only to some sections of indians not all so they have all the reasons uh, for this because every india is a diverse country was a diverse diverse country mahatma gandhi's dream of clothing the nation in khadi appealed only to few sections or some sections of the indian why because those who have been deprived of proper dress by caste norms for centuries were attracted to this western dress style and there are other nationalists like the baha um, b r ambedkar baba saheb ambedkar he never gave up his western style suit earlier many dalits and uh, their the all lower classes were prevented from dressing like upper caste if you take an example women of shanar caste were not allowed to cover their upper body or parts or even use umbrellas wear shoes or gold or golden or, or ornaments they were stopped from this so they now started experimenting and wearing western clothes and did not favor khadi and also the this khadi was quite expensive and the poor could not afford it and khadi was usually white and if you see in india white clothes are worn when somebody is, is somebody has died widow also wear white sarees and dead body is covered with white cloth so khadi was not worn by many people and khadi was very costly to buy as we just said and most people could not make it at home so poor cannot afford to buy or wear khadi 